Okay, so there's two other options that you have here at the bottom of the overwrap that you can use. One is this little paintbrush icon. This brings up all this artwork. This is different things that they give you um, to use, and I really don't know the exact answer on if you can use these for uh, commercial purposes. So you can download them, you can import them. It's got all these other things, Fight Like a Girl, uh, which looks great. I'm not sure you can use this for commercial, so I don't want to give you uh, the wrong answer on that. So we're going to cancel. We're not going to use that. We can see the different things you have in here. Uh, so if there's something you want to use, this might be worth it, especially if you are an OverPro member, to message uh, over and tell them exactly what you want to use them for and, uh, and get an answer directly from them. I don't want to give you the wrong answer on the artwork part. The last one they just updated in the last week. It's called Shapes. and You can add any type of shape that you want. It got some arrows and some starbursts, some speech bubbles, a heart. So let's add a heart, and uh, I'm going to show you kind of how easy it is to, uh, to change the size and the color. You put a border on here. So, of course, you know, let's just change the shape right here nice and easy. And it can change the color, of course. And, of course, you could match. You're going to match that purple. Find any color that you want through here. And border. I like the border. I hope they can add kind of border to a text at some point. Right now it's off. We can change the width. And, of course, as you add a border, it's going to add a border to that, uh, to that shape that you put in there. And you can change the color as well so you can have a different color on the border so let's whoops let's change it to change to something a little brighter so we can see it there we go so put like a green border on it there we go and of course you can change the size i like this because you can really dial in the size instead of just relying on the pinch and zoom you can put a shadow on it same way as you can uh, with the text you can kind of move the shadow around if you blur it, it's really going to uh, kind of soften it up if you're using it for different layers. And you can add a different color for the shadow, not just the basic um, kind of gray, dark shadow. So you can use some of these different colors. And you may want to change the blur depending what you're doing with it. So you can experiment with it. Let's change the angle so you can see it a little more. There we go. Uh, now, I'm not saying this is a great design. I'm really just showing you some examples of how you can do it. So you've got opacity, uh, so you can change if it's kind of see-through with the other layers that you have. You can rotate, you can nudge, and of course you can mask and blend if you're, you've got several layers on here that that, that makes sense to, uh, to use. So use the shape thing. I, I like it. It's really easy to use. And uh, let's see. Oh, that's cool. You can actually change the shape, and it's going to keep those same... Uh, features the border the colors so that's kind of handy i've not uh not experimented with that until just now so it's really cool they just added this so again by the time you're watching this video depending when you're watching it they may have added even more features uh again it's one of one of the reasons i like over is they keep giving us more and more uh more and more features and tools that we can use to make uh to make great designs uh, so one last thing i want to show you on this because this is kind of a good example you say we want to put this uh, this awesome test on top of this uh, this star. You see the the layers are out of order. It doesn't make any sense. Now the star is on top. So let's say done on that. And up here at the top, the layers icon, that third one, we can now change the order of the layers simply by sliding it up. And of course, you can delete layers in here. But you can also reorder those layers. So we're going to reorder them. So now awesome test is on top. Uh, but of course now it's too big. So we're going to take that and we're going to make it smaller so that it fits in here and put it kind of in the middle. So that's how you can reorder the layers, of course, so that it makes sense. Awesome test. Behind this, you wouldn't even be able to see it. So very cool feature. You can add multiple shapes and uh, yeah, it's a, it's a great way to, uh, to customize your Merch by Amazon designs here in the Over app.